My first guest is the phenomenal writer and star of 30 Rock. This is one of America's biggest sitcoms. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it. It's won all the major awards. Uh, it's my absolute favourite American show at the moment. She is the wonderful Tina Fey. There she is. It's Tina. Hello, Tina. Hiya. How are you? Oh, I've been so keen to get Tina on the show. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Now, Tina uh, stars in a new movie called Date Night. It's a film about a married couple who go out on a date each Friday to keep the magic of the relationship alive. It's what Ashley Cole did. <laughs> if only those dates had been with Cheryl. <laughs> Tina, just swap the words Ashley Cole for Tiger Woods, you'll get yeah, the idea. That's it. what they're doing. <laughs> Tina Fey, ladies and gentlemen, on the show this evening, and I'm she's here. Well, my next guest is another award winner. He played John Lennon in Nowhere Boy, and he is the star of the new movie Kick Ass. He is Aaron Johnson. <laughs> In the film, Aaron plays a 19-year-old nerd who at night dresses as a superhero. How sad is that, eh? Although, if you've got any spare costumes, I have a, a friend who, who might like to pour one. <laughs> if uh, any have elasticated waist, that might help as well. <laughs> Can't say his name, but he calls himself Spider Ross. <laughs> laughing, but sadly, that's kind of true. Uh, my next guest is a three Michelin-starred chef and self-styled molecular gastronomist. That's a food boffy to you and I. It's the man who regularly out Wonka's willy. <laughs> Mr. Heston Blumenthal. <laughs> Heston. Hey, Heston. Hey, how are you doing? Is it Blumenthal or Blumenthal? Uh, I can be whatever you want me to be. But what do you say? Tal or Thal? Thal. Blumenthal. Blumenthal. <laughs> Blumenthal. Hey, it sounds like an experience. Well, that Blumenthal, doesn't it? <laughs> I won't tell you what my first name means in Greek. What is it? In oh, Greek? I know what it means. Do you know what it means? I'm Greek, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. you, it means what does it mean? It means to crap yourself. Yeah, sh oh. <laughs> in Greece, they, in the, whenever they used to release oh. Charlton Heston movies in Greece, they had to change his name to Charlton Easton because <laughs> it means Charlton crap on you. <laughs> what a great name on the marquee. Uh, <laughs> hey, I told you that, should I? We're, we're five minutes in, we've learned something. Uh, Heston's restaurant, of course, The Fat Duck, is officially, uh, it's got three Michelin stars, but it's officially now the second best restaurant in the world. That's right, isn't it, Heston? Apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It used to be the best in the world, but that was before the opening of Fat Ali's Abra Kababra on the Edgeware Road. <laughs> now that, my friend, is good eating. Shall we get my first guest out, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> well, I'm as keen as mustard. Here she is in the fantastic, before she comes out, here she is in the fantastic 30 Rock. <laughs> Will you please welcome Tina Fey? Every little thing she does is magic. Everything she does just turns me on. Even though my life before was tragic. Exciting it is for me to have you. I'm a huge fan. Uh, Thank you. You have many fans over here. Uh, you've been travelling though. Before we get to the show and the film, you've yes. been travelling. You've been promoting the movie through Europe. Yes. Pretty much a whistle top store, I guess. Uh, not, not too long in any one country. Where no, have you we, been so far? I'm going around with Steve Carell for this movie that we've got coming out. And we went, uh, first I went to LA with him because I don't live there. He lives there. You live in New York. I, I live in New York. Right? And then we went to Paris. And then we went to Berlin. And so we're thrilled now to be here. Um, uh, we're so thrilled to be out of a language barrier. Because yeah, yeah. you do these, uh, these press junkets and people come, you know, they come, the German uh, journalists come in and say, like, you are not famous here, so why are you, <laughs> like, uh, why do you have a movie? Like, it's just like such awkward, uh, Unending barrier. But you're, aren't you half German? Wasn't your dad German? Yeah, my dad, well, my mom's Greek, as we now yes, know, yes. and my dad of German descent, yeah. Right. So do you speak any German at all? I can kind of pronounce. It's funny, because we were, uh, in talking to the German journalists, the only three words that I knew were, um, I said, like, es tut mir leid, bergsteigen, and schwul, which, uh, it's, uh, I'm sorry, mountain climbing, and gay. Well, <laughs> in the white party, that could come in very handy, I mean, <laughs> if you're having a weekend. Uh, so you're here now, which, which I'm delighted. I'm a big 30 Rock fan. It, it doesn't have a, as big an audience here yet because it isn't on one of the bigger channels. It doesn't have a huge audience anywhere. Let's not kid ourselves. Is it not? Uh, but it's big. In the, I mean, it's been nominate, nominated for so many Emmys. Well, we're very lucky. We've, we've, we've certainly uh, won a lot of awards and stuff. But, um, and we, we're on after the American office, which helps us. Yeah. But it's sort of, you know, in the, the golden days of, of Friends and Frasier are over when yeah. 20 million people would check it out.
Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great show. Before we talk about that properly, I'm sure though lots of people would have heard of you, even in this country, they saw you, because of your Sarah Palin impersonation yeah. on Saturday Night Live, which was, uh, it was in the news here even. Uh, when, when she appeared, you'd been in the Saturday Night Live for a while, I guess, did you immediately think, wow, this is going to be great for me, I, I look like I can do her, or did other people have to point that out to you? I, I was already hearing, as soon as she was chosen in uh, maybe August or whatever it was a couple years ago, um, I started getting emails and my cousins and people saying like, oh, it looked just like her. And so I looked at it and I, I, was, I was like, nah, I don't really see it. And my husband was like, yeah. <laughs> you look like her. And I think people, I had worked at Saturday Night Live and I had left to do 30 Rock, but I don't think people even realized that I had left and people really uh, were urging me to go back and, and try to do it. And so you, you jumped to the opportunity, I guess. It was too good to... Yeah, at first I kept saying I wasn't going to do it, I wasn't going to do it, and then uh, next thing I knew I was doing it. Uh, could we, would you mind uh, giving us a little bit of the Palin voice? I'll try, but oh my God, I haven't done it in so long. It's a while, long. isn't it? Yeah. It's, I have to remember to work into it. It's like she's got that role Minnesota and she's just so like, so happy to be talking <laughs> about anything but the issues and just like, <laughs> I, uh, I have to, uh, I might have, end up having to do it in a week or so, I'm going back to SNL. Are you, what, are you going to host? I'm going to host SNL in oh, a week. Well, that'd be exciting. well, that's like going back as the, uh, the kind of conquering hero, isn't it? To go yeah, back I can host? only lose. Yeah. <laughs> I can only see ground. Um, well, it'd be something in life kind of, a, did, it, did that inspire 30 Rock? Because 30 Rock is set in a, a similar, if far less successful, sort of sketch show. Yes, it's, I play a, a, a head writer of a late night comedy show, um, and it sort of was the jumping off point, but the, uh, the characters have now kind of taken a life of their own. And the difference, too, is that at Saturday Night Live, that show is sort of an American institution that's been on for 35 years, and then on 30 Rock, the show within the show is quite terrible. Yeah. And then people, when I see a show, when I fall in love with the show, which I have with that, and I fall in love with the, my whole family, we love Liz Lemon, we love the show, but people kind of, do they want you to be that character? Because I, I kind of want you to be Liz Lemon. I want you to endure that crushing loneliness and life at home. Eating <laughs> and <seeing yourself. laughs> you, it would be, you would like me to be lonely at because home? Because I love her for her life. <laughs> well, I certainly... Uh, I feel she's kind of, a, kind of a sliding doors version of me. If I had not found my husband and not found someone to marry me, yeah. I would have just continued to sour and sink deeper into my work, and I would absolutely be exactly what's like. But there must be some similarities, I'm sure, between you and her. You're, you're not sour and, and lonely, but... Uh... Uh, not so sour anymore, but I can be sour, and I certainly <laughs> like my terrible food, and I, I work too much, and... And I'm very awkward with people, and I'm not fun at parties. Well, you, uh, <laughs> so you really are Liz Lemon. I really am, you, yeah. Just with a husband. Yeah. And Alec Baldwin, if you know the show, you know Alec Baldwin is just godlike on this program. His, his presence He's is magisterial. Uh, was he always intended for that role? I, I wrote the role with him in mind, because he had hosted uh, Saturday Night Live a bunch of times, and he's so funny, and he had, you know, heretofore been known as just this dramatic leading man, and, but he, he hosted like 12 times, and people just kept realizing how funny he was. Yeah. But uh, we actually auditioned a bunch of actors and met with a bunch of actors before I had the guts to approach him about it. What's he like with the, because uh, in a way I guess he's the most experienced actor. He's had a oh my god, he yeah. might, technically he's the only actor on the <laughs> so show. So does he tutor other, is he like a mentor to other people? Yeah, I mean I've learned a lot from working with him and we're always pairing him with, you know, these random people. We did a, a, in season four, which we just finished, which I guess you'll have here in like nine years. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but we put, yeah, we put him with crazy people. We've gotten a habit this year. We, there's a guy who's a, a custodian at the, the studio where we shoot, and his name is Subas. And, and we put him in the show a few times as a custodian. Um, like a janitor guy. A janitor guy. Oh, yeah, sorry, a janitor. Yeah. And, um, and he's, really, you know, he's really natural and charming. And then I, I, guess, what, I guess what I learned from this was that maybe Alec doesn't actually watch the show after it's done. Because then we, at Subas then got a bigger story. We sort of did a, a Conan J. Leno parallel where the night janitor, the overnight janitor, wanted the 1130 janitor shift and it was like a janitor war. And so we had one guy who was an actor and then we just used Subas again and Alec pulled the director aside and was like, this guy is terrible. This guy's a terrible actor. And they were like, Alec, he's the janitor. And he's been on four times. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure many fans have asked you this, but it's rather like the X-Files in that you wanted Mulder and Scully to get together. You wanted to see that chemistry mm. finally bear fruit. And, and we all wonder whether or not Liz Lemon is going to get it on with Jack Donaghy. Yeah, I, don't, I think we've committed to the fact that no, they should never be together, except in the 30 Rock porn, which is real and available. Is there 30 Rock? There is, and I actually haven't watched it. I assume that Liz and Jack oh. go to town on each other. But there is a 30 Rock porn movie, and the same actress who played Sarah Palin in the Sarah Palin porn movie, played me. Isn't that nice? It's, kind of, it's all filtering so down it's to other an people. Honor. That's fabulous. Yeah. Uh, now,